Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of the SV Boney SV405CC astronomy camera. This is SV Boney's first foray into the cooled camera world, and they did not disappoint. Before I get into the review, I'd first like to disclose that I did receive a small discount on this camera in exchange for this review, but I promise you'll get my honest opinion and thoughts. First, let's talk about the packaging. The camera came nested in multiple boxes and was very well protected on its way from China to the States. On the inside we have a USB 3 data cable, the camera and bag, which we'll get to in just a moment, the 21mm M42 extender and the 16.5mm M42 to M48 adapter, the user manual, which comes in many different languages, lens wipe, 1.25 inch T adapter, T2 to 1.25 inch adapter, M42 to M48 ring, and some fine adjustment spacer rings. The camera bag is nice and padded, and is similar to the one supplied with a ZWO camera. Weighing in at just over one pound, the 405 itself is machined aluminum and feels very durable in my hands. On the back it has one USB 3 port and a 12 volt DC input. You'll notice that it doesn't have the dual USB hub that is standard on the ZWO line of astronomy cameras. The sensor is a back illuminated Sony IMX294 4 3rd sensor with a pixel size of 4.63 microns and comes with a fan assisted thermoelectric cooling system capable of cooling the sensor 30 degrees Celsius below ambient temperature. The 405 also comes with its own 12 volt 5 amp power supply for the cooling system, but the male connector plug seems to be too short for the camera port. It tends to slip out easily from the back of the camera. And while it works for indoor testing, I've since replaced it with another cord to work with my portable setup. I've had this camera since late May, but the weather, work scheduling, and catching COVID had other ideas for me. The weeks leading up to first light, I put the 405 to some tests. This camera has the exact same specs as the ZWO 294MC Pro, complete with the HCG mode and ultra low read noise. Since I wasn't able to make it out to do imaging, I decided to test the sensor capabilities at home. The initial testing of the 405 was a little rocky. The driver was only compatible with SharpCap and Nina. As an APT user, I had to quickly learn how to use Nina, but found it to my liking. I first looked at the cooling capabilities on Nina. Initial testing showed that once cooled to the target temperature, the TEC system power would fluctuate drastically, producing a plus or minus 0.5 to 1 degree C change in temperature when stabilized. My first attempts at sensor analysis weren't very encouraging as none of my numerous tests were matching up to the chart ZWO released for the 294MC Pro. On this chart you can see the noise and gain curves match exactly and no HCG mode is evident. SharpCap was only showing a max of 270 gain and my other values were all over the place. SV Boney promised a driver update so I patiently waited. A few weeks went by and a new driver was released. Nina also announced that they had integrated support for SV Boney cameras. Things were so much better after this update. Once at target temperature, the TEC power flow is nice and steady, and I've not seen a temperature variation of over plus or minus 0.3 degrees Celsius. With hopes renewed after the new driver update, I decided to try the sensor analysis one more time. And to my delight, everything matched up exactly with ZWO's chart. The new test showed HCG kicking in around 120 gain with an evident drop in read noise. Unity gain and dynamic range seems to match up well too. With my worries finally assuaged, I was ready for first flight. 
I took my equipment out to border four skies and decided to target the Eastern Veil vale Nebula. This was new territory for me. New camera, new to me imaging software, new portable setup with a mini PC. A lot could go wrong. After finally getting set up, polar aligned and finding my target, I took 40 two minute shots and got this. A week later, I saw a break in the weather and went back out and got 20 two minute shots of the elephant's trunk nebula. I will admit that the early performance of the 405 had me a little worried. Thankfully, the cooling and sensor performance issues seem to have been resolved with driver updates. SV Boney indicates that APT will be fully compatible with the camera very soon. Overall, I have to give this camera a big thumbs up. All indications are that it performs just as good as the ZWO 294MC Pro and at 80% the cost. I believe this is an affordable, great entry-level cooled camera, and I do not regret taking the chance on trying it. SV Boney has cultivated a wonderful community of astrophotographers and astronomers alike. I'm proud to be a part of that community. <laughs>